Well, good morning, everybody. Nice to be here with you. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. All right. Good morning, first grade. Are you here? Good morning, first grade. Yes, Mr. Coulter, we are here. I hope you stood up for that. It's a good way to start the day, standing up and saying the morning verse, so I hope you'll join me. The sun, with loving light, makes bright for me each day. The soul, with spirit power, gives strength unto my limbs. I have to start over again, because I changed those words. This originally was written in a different language, so when you translate something, there's lots of different ways to look at translation sometimes. Not every word has an exact word that matches up with it, so we'll start again here. The sun, with loving light, makes bright for me each day. The heart, with sacred power, gives strength unto my limbs. In sunlight shining clear, I am reverent. The strength of humankind has so graciously been planted in my soul, that I, with all my might, may love to work and learn. Toward us comes light and strength, from us rise love and thanks. Yes, that's the way to start the day, I think, is a good way. Many good ways to start the day, and that's one of them. So today is Tuesday, D-A-Y, Tuesday, T-U-E-S-D-A-Y, not my very best person. Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. Another way of saying that, if we want to say it in Spanish, for instance, would be I hope I can spell it right. I probably, I might spell it wrong, so I'll have to recheck it. You know what, I think I won't write it this time. I'll make sure I'm spelling it correctly before I write it incorrectly. Uh, we can say it's martes today. Tuesday's martes, martes. Or you can roll the R a little bit and say martes, martes. M-A-R-T-E-S, I'm pretty sure. Martes. And then we say the number first and then the month when we're speaking uh, in Spanish, we say, Ocho, because that's the word for eight. Ocho. Martes, ocho de septiembre, which sounds almost the same as September. Septiembre. A little bit different, isn't it? So all together we'll say it in English and then Spanish. Today is, you can say it together with me, I hope. Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. Hoy es, that means today is, hoy means today, hoy es martes 8 de septiembre 2020 in Spanish, I think would be 2020, I think. I have to check that one out too. All right, so that's the day and the date, and we can say the days in English, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and today is Tuesday. Today's the first day of the school week, even though usually the first day of the school week is Monday. So hopefully you can remember that today is Tuesday, the first day of this school week, and we'll say the days of the week one more time. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We had a three-day weekend. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Usually it's just two days, Saturday, Sunday. So now you know. What two days of the weekend? You could say Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. And what is the school week? Usually it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Five school days and two weekend days is how it usually goes each week. All right, so we'll do um, 
this in Hawaiian, Ho'ohi'i, Ho'o, Ho'ohi'i, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, but in Hawaiian it goes, Po'o, Po'o, Hivi, Kuli, Vavai, Po'o, Po'o, Hivi, Kuli, Vavai, Po'o, Po'o, Hivi, Kuli, Vavai, Hey, Malama Kokino, I hope you're doing it with me. Maka waha mana mana lima. Maka waha mana mana lima. Maka waha mana mana lima. E malama kokino. Ihu ni ho leve kokino. Ihu ni ho leve kokino. Iho ni ho leve kokino, e malama kokino. All right. So I wanted to remind us what the forward and backward bear walk looked like. So I hope you've been practicing that. I hope you did that all through your house. I think I'll put this right here and I'll go right around it. Take my slippers off. So forward bear walk. Tadam, 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 tadam. You can go slowly or you can go faster. And if you want to go backwards, try to look where you're going. Look the direction you're going. There we go. So I hope you've been practicing that. And it's good to do a little exercise first thing in the morning anyway, isn't it? So we'll do that. And then, I have another song that I think you might know already, or you might know the, the tune of it. It goes like this. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John, morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, dang, dong. Ding, dang, dong. I'll sing it two more times, and maybe you can join in with me. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, dang, dong, ding, dang, dong. One more time. I'm still a little out of breath from all that bear walking. <laughs> are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, dang, dong, ding, dang, dong. And that is the melody we will be using when we start skip counting by threes. Hmm, when will that be? Probably next week. We'll see. Let's learn the melody and the song, which is also sung in French, I've noticed. Um, and we'll do it that way as well. So uh, the next thing I want to do is a little, um, I want to remind us of our letters that we did last week. We did, um, well, we've done A and B, and we've done Q and Z. And today we will move on to letter C, which is the good old curve. Um, by the way, we can also learn them in sang sign language, A, B, C, which looks like a C, doesn't it? A, do you know your A, B, C's? Your A, whoops, that's B, it's like that. C, one more time. A, B, C. Now you can say it in sign language, A, B, C, and, and you can say it, of course, in English, A, B, C, and there's many other ways to say it, of course. But I wanted to tell you a little, not really a poem, it's called alliteration, which means um, a bunch of words in a row that make sense as a sentence, but that all start with the same k sound, k k sound for letter C. And we uh, told a story last week, which perhaps you would remember as well, and it uh, was about a cat. So perhaps you can be thinking of that as I tell you this poem. 
Catherine's clever calico cat caught a cute canary. Catherine's clever calico cat caught a cute canary. There's two words in there. I'm not really quite sure if you know both of them. One is the word calico, which refers to a certain sort of cat with different colored markings on it. It's got like brown and kind of orange and white color and maybe another color in there as well. But calico is a certain type of cat, so calico cat. Calico has two k, -k sounds in there, calico. So that's an extra good one for our letter C. And then canary, maybe you know what that is. It's a little bird, it's a little songbird, beautiful little songbird that lives um, uh, down in the southern places. I'm not sure we have it here in Hawaii though. I will investigate that as well. Boy, I have a lot of research to do, don't I, to really be uh, caught, caught up for this moment. Catherine's, one more time all together, two more times all together, Catherine's clever calico cat caught a cute canary. Hmm, do you feel bad for the canary? Hmm, maybe she let her go. I see Auntie Jackie has arrived. Did you know that Catherine's clever calico cat caught a cute canary? Come on! <laughs> Come on, she said. Uh, cut it out. Hi, everybody. Do we have the chance to go outside to the sure. right here? I sure. just discovered something else. Sure, so let's go. There you go. Good morning. I wonder what she has discovered. Out we go. Maybe the sun will not get you. I'm going to come around this way so that we this can see. This is the see. garden that the second graders always are tending. And there are small plants in this garden that are eaten and eat them. They love to eat these plants. And when they, the little caterpillars fill their belly and the plants no longer have leaves, we've been watching them. What they do is they were climbing up this mango tree and climbing up this mango tree and then they park themselves right here. Can you see it? Can you, can you? Can you see it? Can you, can you talk the camera's going down? It is, it is. Yeah. So right That's here beautiful. is the chrysalis. Oh, a chrysalis, another C word. What a good day this is. Um, uh, where is it? Oh, I can see it hanging now. See how my pinky is right next to it? There it is. And another one. And then I came back to look this morning. You guys, look at this one. She just came out. She just came out. She's drying her wings. Hanging out. Just I think that they can see it. Oh, my goodness. Happy birthday, butterfly. She just hatched her chrysalis. Thank you for coming out here and showing that. 